Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm harvesting my uh, mustard green. And uh, back there, right there, those yellow flowers back there, those are my bok choy. And uh, those bok choys are bolted. And I'm gonna tell you guys in this video why they're bolted and uh, how to harvest it and what to do if they're bolted, guys. So if you're new, I'm in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A, guys, and it's summertime coming in right now. It's hot weather. And uh, bok choy guys are normally in the springtime or in the fall time. So if the weather is really, really hot, guys, they will bolt. And bolting mean, guys, is basically, is basically, guys, when the plant just goes into flower mood and uh, they're just going to grow into flower. And basically what's going to happen when they grow into flower, guys, um, they're going to use most of the energy to produce the flower. And the flower is going to turn into seed later on, guys. But... You gotta remember, in the bok choy, guys, we eat the leaves. The, all the nutrients and everything is in the leaves. So if, they, so if the plants stop forcing energy to the leaf and they're going straight up to the flowers, the leaf is not gonna get the same energy and they're not gonna taste the same. It's normally when they're bolted like this in summertime, I'm just gonna pull out the whole plant. It's, not, it's no good for me right now. And I need this space right now to plant summer stuff. So all my mustard greens, guys, they're the same thing. They're fall and spring weather plants. And I'm just gonna get everything by the root. Um, let me show you guys real quick. Okay, so we're gonna start off here with mustard green. Mustard green, guys, when you harvest a mustard green, the leaf grows six to eight inches. These are like 10, 12 inches. Um, when you harvest mustard green, uh, you could basically, guys, cut from the out, outside outside the big leaves. The reason why you want to harvest, too, guys, it uses most of the energy from the outer leaf, and it takes a longer time to produce this. It takes a longer time to grow the smaller leaf. So if you keep up, guys, and you harvest every time they're six to eight inches, from the outside, you just basically cut it or break it off. The plant will use more energy from the inside. So I could still harvest the outside, and the inside will still grow. But um, I do need this space, guys, and I just said, so basically what I'm going to do, you just, I'm just going to come grab the whole plant from the bottom, just like shake it up, and they don't have that big of a root. Look, the root is not that big, so you could just go ahead and yank it out, and basically, I'm going to show you guys, um, so really what you want to do, you just want to cut it right here. It's kind of tough, so make sure your pruner is sharp, and um, always remember, don't leave your roots in the garden, guys, and if you look right here, right there we're gonna wash that out on the bottom on the later and you have a beautiful small little bouquet of uh mustard greens so mustard greens guys definitely in the fall and the spring they're beautiful but these guys for hot weather right now they're really really beautiful healthy looking uh leaves right here i guess all i did was uh add coffee grounds and fresh soil and uh did the job so i'm gonna go ahead and you could see oh now this one definitely a bigger root so what to do as I said all just come and cut it out look at this guys beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and continue harvest all of them and then I'm gonna show you guys the bok choy right here to show you guys I did harvest all of the mustard greens guys it's a lot um you could see basically guys i have a i have a lot of weeds and stuff there so i'll show you guys in another video how i'm gonna refresh this soil and then if you come right here so we have our um bok choy so basically guys uh you could see right there up close those are gonna be seed later on inside of the flowers uh really don't have time for this so what i'm gonna do guys basically i'm gonna cut out all the leaves they're really good they're still good there's nothing wrong with um these guys um it's just that i waited too long as i said i do have a pet pig too and uh, you could see some of the leaf like this one is a lighter green it has less nutrition in that and you can see this is like a darker uh, green which is this, you know still produce uh good nutrition in there so basically don't throw away your leaves guys you know you could just they're simple you just break it out and you have a beautiful leaf right here uh stir fry definitely um how do you harvest this um, what do you do guys the same thing if it didn't bolted you could just you just break off the outer leaf which is the bigger leaf and um, same thing would happen when you harvest the bigger leaf the plant will use the energy on the smaller leaf to grow that so it will produce more and the more you harvest the more it will grow now since it's bolted like this what I do because I don't need the seed and uh, basically just try to get back all my soil in there 
you know I try to like I'll always get most of my soil back and then basically cut it off like that and basically I'm just gonna pull out all the leaf and just throw away the stem so I don't know if people eat the flower or the stem I really do not eat the flower I'm pretty sure my pet pig he will come and eat all of them because he doesn't really care he'll just eat anything and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna break out all the leaves and um, after I kind of like pinch you know you kind of pinch out all the leaves I'll put it in the container over there and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks okay so as you can see I got a whole pile of uh, mustard green guys so big leaf beautiful gorgeous green leaf guys look at this massive leaves right there see that that's when you know you got a rich green mustard green and then right here I got my fresh bok choy you can see the bok choy guys the leaves are massive and um, the only problem is when it gets so big guys it's not a lot of nutrition inside I mean it still have some nutrition but it, it the taste to lose the taste like this look at that a better green one so guys I basically had to harvest all these things you hey guys this is my spring plant coming over to the summer and there's no saving the the bok choy guys is bolted and once it's bolted like that guys there's nothing much you could do uh the best time to do it is uh you know early uh, early spring early fall it will grow it will grow beautiful the weather will be nice once you control your water and you water it perfectly guys and the plant is not stressed or anything like that they wouldn't bolt they will grow just keep harvesting and they'll, they'll be fine mustard greens are really easy guys basically i just put on some seed transplant them and they just grow just water I think I think the main thing for mustard green was the water once you're good with water and they're not dehydrated too much they will just grow non-stop so all right guys there you go beautiful harvest today guys we're always grateful and thankful as a, a gardener and uh, it's amazing because we grow our own stuff and we know what we put inside and it's amazing to see that we could pick it right in our backyard all right guys so remember if you're new guys welcome to green tea garden don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon it's 100 percent free and every time i upload a video you guys will get it right away and join green tea garden let's uh grow a better home garden guys organic garden and i do have to make another compost uh video